Hello, Michael. How are Hello. you? I'm very well, very well. Uh, House of Cards is coming back. I am really excited, as you can tell by like my beaming face. Yeah. So much so that these guys sent me a screener to watch, and I, watch? I I haven't watched it. You did? Oh, that's because wow! You were really excited. The thing you about were... a screener is you can only watch a bit of the series, right. And you can't watch the rest of it. Yeah. And if I watch a little bit and then just sit back for the next yeah. few weeks, I'm going to go out of my mind. You will, because they only sent me some. And now I'm like, I cannot wait to, I, I, I'm being honest, I'm not being like, I'm a fan of the show, I like to watch the show, my mm. wife and I love to watch the show, and I got the first uh, six, and I'm just like, You can't do that, you can't watch the first six. <laughs> Keep going, man. I, I mean, you guys, you guys could be used to it, because in America you have that sort of half season break mm. sometimes, yeah, 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 Christmas. Yeah. over yeah. here, not having it, yeah. not having it at all. Anyway, um, I, w- I want to know a little bit about what we can expect from this series, because towards the end of last year, Everybody lost their minds. <laughs> right, <laughs> it, yeah, was, uh, yeah. it was quite, I don't know how to describe the last episode. Eventful, shall yeah, we say. Yeah. So, uh, so where are we picking up from now? Eventful. It's, uh, you, know, you, you, you know, obviously at the end of, of, of the season there, when, with Claire's departure, you can just imagine uh, the madness that will ensue from that. Uh, obviously what the thing that I did at the end of season three and, uh, and, and having it being backed by Frank's side and ready to be mm-hmm. his loyal soldier again, you can imagine what's going to happen with that. Um, I can say that this season is incredibly exciting and addictive. In very, a way, very in a way you're now Frank Underwood's surrogate wife. Because that's broken down. You're the closest thing he's got. Can we expect to see your relationship get a little bit Closer? I'm not going to say fruitier. Not like, just... not like a three-time... Uh, well, we've seen, we've seen that. He likes, right, right. He likes to um, <laughs> spread his wares, shall we say, over the series. I think love could blossom. No, yeah, I think, you know, as loyal of a soldier as Doug is, I, I don't see it going there. Um, but our show is insane, man. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Doug, Doug Stamp has already become one of the most iconic, creepy human beings <laughs> on television. Playing a character like that, do you find that it changes people's perceptions of you in real life? Like, already, I've got to speak to you the last couple of minutes, you seem like a lovely guy, but if all these guys behind the cameras left the room for like 10 minutes, I'd start to feel really uncomfortable. You, you, <laughs> because you, you year, wouldn't, I mean, you, you, you see, like, this is, this is me, I, I'm, I'm a happy, happy dude, and I think that that disarms people uh, really quickly when seeing me or meeting me. That being said, I have gotten in, in an elevator before, uh, and not in the best mood or distracted by work or what have you and stepped into an elevator and had someone, you know, on their phone and then... But leave. And get... <laughs> <laughs> do a quick double take and be like, Jesus Christ, dude, I just for one fleeting moment thought that I was in an elevator with Doug Stamper and I got really scared. You're so that, that happens. It does happen. Well, what would you binge watch? If you could be one of the Netflix show, possibly as Doug Stamper, uh, where would you go? Doug Stamper would fit in the bloodline world really well, mm. I think. But Michael Kelly would want to go hang out with Orange is the New Black Girls. For any particular I reason? Love, you just, just like the prison scene. I, lo- I like the prison color. scene naked a lot, you know. I <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, uh, I really, I, I love that show. I love the, I love that cast. They're just a great group of people. We see each other at all these different events, and, and we have a blast. That being said, I would do anything, anything with Ricky Gervais. 